in downtown Denver at 823, live from Radio Row at the Moscone Center in downtown San Francisco. We are live streaming on Facebook right now. We've never done this before. Brandon Scopely, this is a big this deal. Wave wow. right to our Facebook. Hey, like, my mom is like on it. there. Hey, mom. <laughs> Some of your maybe friends and family. Tech, and technology. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're talking to Brandon Stoker, former wide receiver for your Denver Broncos. Is it true that you were incognito in a valet's jacket at Media Day? Good morning. I was. It, it's a great story. We pulled up and I'm, I'm working with Channel 7. And um, they, the guys for the guys I'm working with, they got these great jackets or sweaters and these orange pants. And I just have my normal jeans and shirt on. The valet had this bright orange jacket. And uh, we were walking away. We said, you know what, really good behind that. We kept walking and we finally said, we got to turn around and go try to buy this. So we went back. We rented it. Twenty bucks, twenty-two dollars for a rental. Twenty-two for like twenty-two a hours. It was a couple uh -huh. hours. So I just put it on, went in there, kind of with my my, my co-host there, you know, and they were all dressed nice. So I had to have something on. And went in there, and I think it was a hit. You know, I mean, Von Miller loved it. And they all recognized you right away, or did they think you were a valet? Well, <laughs> um, I. I, I a few didn't recognize me. Chris Harris, I don't think he, I asked him a couple questions, he didn't recognize me. Um, but Bond did. He loved the jacket. Um, Peyton Manning didn't give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the jacket, so I don't know whether he liked it or not. Um, Demarius loved it. Sure. UT loved it. Stylish man. Yeah. Anybody with any style really liked it. So you're here, and we'll get to a, a couple of the reasons why you're here and what you're kind of respect, pitching here at Super Bowl uh, 50. But you live in Castle Rock, you put on the Broncos uniform, you play with Peyton in Indianapolis. You gotta be just happy for him and the guy that you play with. Oh, thrilled. I'm so happy for him, just all the work that he's put in. Not only, you know, his whole career, but just this year. And just the ups and downs that he's had to deal with and everything else he's been involved with this year. Uh, with the foot and uh, then having to come back and work his way back and being a backup. Well, and finally getting another opportunity and taking advantage of it. I think it's a great story. The storyline is not really told. Cool. Just uh, uh, the perseverance. Uh, it would have been easy for him to throw in the towel and go on into the reserve and say, yeah, I've had a good career. He just kept working, kept grinding, and really humbled himself to do the backup against the Chargers. And lo and behold, he ends up here. You know, in the AFC Championship game, a lot was made of the fact that he whispered to Bill Belichick, you know, great, great to see you again, all that, and this may be my last rodeo, I just want to say, that was great. Um, you don't think that's his last rodeo? Well, I'm not sure. Who knows? But he really knows, I think. He doesn't really know right now whether it is or not. I think when you get to be that, that age, after the game is over, you kind of evaluate where you are, how your body feels, um, how you feel James play. If you can grind it out for another year, it's so hard and so difficult. So so I think it'll take a month or so off and make that decision. Uh, you are here with Stoli. We want to get the Brandon Stokely Stoli Mile High Mule recipe in a moment, but I got to ask you because I think it's almost one of the first things maybe you get is you feeling okay? You have obviously um, you know, head injuries that. They made you go to a time ride. Right. Yeah, I've had my fair share of questions. Right now, I feel, I feel okay. No, no major complaints. What do you think about those who don't retire, like uh, Wes Walker, for example? Like, a lot of us thought he had taken two serious hits to make sure he was. Well, you kind of knew what he thinks the best part of himself. You know, I never wanted to retire early. Yeah, I don't have any kind of regrets. I don't have any kind of regrets. I was I was in that boat where I was going to play until I was done. You know, I wasn't going to quit early just because I thought maybe um, concussions and the effects of those might affect me 20 or 30 years down the road. Brandon Stokely is here. All right, tell us how to make this Mile High Mule. Well, the Mile High Mule um, is, is, is one of my favorites again, and also the, the Bronco Bloody Mary. Um, people in the would love those. You go to Stoli's uh, Facebook page and get the recipes for those. Uh, we also got a couple other ones that I know that the Denver fans won't want to hear, but but it, but if they want to try something different, why you got a Panthers recipe? Yeah, there's a couple. The there's Carolina a couple. The Mary, the Carolina uh, Bloody Mary, and the Carolina uh, Blue Mule uh, are also very tasty. Maybe not for this Sunday. 
maybe for, I don't know, maybe uh, preseason, next preseason, but great recipes, um, a lot of fun to mix and match and, and try different things that are really easy to do. This was so much fun, live streaming on Facebook. Oh Look at my that. gosh, Thank great. you, Facebook. If you missed any of that, it's going to be That's for you, right? Yeah, the uh, Moscow Mule oh, uh, for Sunday to make yourself a, a Bronco. Uh,